I got a new sticker from Sos. Sos the Ghost. If you haven't watched him on YouTube, check him out. Demon's Row. Good morning, cats. Welcome to the man cave as we wrap up the month of July in 2022. How are y'all doing, my friends? Good to have you along this morning. Get things started right off the bat. I thought I would pose a question out there. You know, I, if you've been watching me for a while, you know that my YouTube channel predominantly about motorcycling. And I'll be perfectly honest with you, that's what gets me the views. Now, I also <laughs> live a normal life. Uh, I am retired. I don't work anymore. And I have five and a half acres of property that I maintain regularly. That is no easy challenge. I live in a log home that I built myself in rural Ohio. But... <laughs> I'm also 68 years old and I've got a whole life in behind me, a whole history behind me, and a whole history of, of motorcycling. You know, I started motorcycling when I was a kid and, and came up through the years involved in just about everything that could be involved with motorcycling. So I, I try to keep most of my videos in reference to motorcycling. Because, like I said, that's what gives me the views. But in doing so, you know, when you have a YouTube channel, and, I mean, the reason I have a YouTube channel is because I get monetized, okay? I, I get an income from that. And that's important to me to supplement my retirement. And so I try to keep it going, you know? And I put out two videos a week, which is no easy challenge but I have met that challenge pretty well and always try to keep the conversation going the material coming that prefer refers to motorcycling now it seems like most of the interest comes with motorcycle clubs the one percent MC's so the question that I have for you today and it's just a question, okay? Uh, a question for argument, because I'm sure it'll stir up some argument. I will try not to really make any statements or accusations. I'm just throwing these questions out there today because I'd like to know what the answers are. What defines a 1%? Do you have to be in a motorcycle club to be 1%? If you're in a motorcycle club, does it have to be a 1% MC, like the Hells Angels or the Outlaws or the Mongols or Banditos or Satan Slaves or, or, you know, does it have to be like one of those hardcore clubs? Do you have to have the diamond one percent patch does does that make you officially one percent do you have to have a one percent tattoo maybe that seals the deal you know i mean i'm throwing the questions out there I, i'd like to know the answers do you have to be a dirt bag to be one percent do you have to be uh, i mean some some of these guys that claim to be one percent have six-figure incomes a full-time job they're doctors they're lawyers they're attorneys uh, they're they're intelligent people who put you know a lot of you know they're very motivated they put a lot of effort into life and they just like this outlaw life do you have to be ex-military to be one percent uh, do you have to carry the scars to be 1%? You know, stab wounds or, or bullet wounds or whatever. Does that make you 1%? I don't know. Tell me. I want to know. What's the protocol for being 1%? 
I'm sure there's a lot of incarcerated inmates that have 1% tattoos, but maybe have never ridden a motorcycle. So does that negate them from being 1% or are they still 1%? And how do they earn that 1%? You know, is there a protocol for earning that? And is it the same across the board? Do you have to be a criminal to be 1%? Do you have to be, I don't know, full sleeve tattoos to be 1%? Do you have to have a nose ring or, or you know, I don't know. What's the criteria for being 1%? Do you have to, you know, hold a chip on your shoulder and anybody that crosses you in any way, shape, or form to pummel them to the ground, does that, that makes you a 1%? <laughs> yeah, I got a lot of questions because I, I, a lot of people seem to have all the answers. And uh, for those, <laughs> I hope they would answer these questions. You know, what, what is the criteria? Now, you know, people look at me at my age, 68-year-old man, who owns a Harley, but in my recent videos, I don't show any, like, major motorcycle activity, no, no riding with other groups, no riding with clubs, no club involvement or anything like that. And even if I did, I'm not sure that I would really put that on video. But at this point in my life, no, I'm free and clear of all of that. But at one point in my life, was I 1%? Did I fit that criteria? I don't know. Maybe I did. Maybe I didn't. I rode with those who claimed to be 1%. I affiliated myself with those who claimed to be 1%. I was involved in activities that 1% were involved in that were criminal at best. Does that make me a 1% or did I not earn it at that point? So, <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, I've said it before. The motorcycle culture is, is a strange thing. There's just so many facets to it. There's, there's people that just have a motorcycle and like to ride. They, they just, that's all. That's all they want. They got a bike parked in their garage, and whenever they feel like it, they take it out to ride. There are those that are real serious about riding, that like to put a lot of miles on their bike. They like to travel, but they're not affiliated with any club, group, or anything like that. There are those motor cyclists that feel the need to be a part of a group, to be a, go a little further and join a club. There are clubs every, you know, from A to Z, so, you know, your options are really out there for whatever <laughs> trips your trigger, you know. If you're a police officer, there's motorcycle groups for, for cops. If you're a fireman, there's motorcycle clubs for that. If you're military, there's motorcycle clubs for military, for veterans, uh, Trump supporters, <laughs> I mean everything under the sun, there's a motorcycle group for, including the 1% MCs. But anyway, back to myself, you know, at my age and where I stand now, you know, the question is, or I get, I get a lot of uh, uh, comments that, that say, you know, hey, you're just no man, you're full of it, you, you, you really don't know what you're talking about. Uh, because they really don't know my history or where I've been. And right now, I, I do just look like an old man that has a Harley sitting in a garage because that's pretty much where I am today. I've kind of uh, removed myself from most of the motorcycle culture at this stage in my life. But does that negate me from having knowledge of the of the topic I, I don't think so I've got a lot of knowledge on the topic and a lot of experience you know some stuff I obviously can't talk about on social media and I'm not going to but uh, it doesn't negate me from being a part of that lifestyle and I have a, a pretty good past history of it too 
I mean, when I look back at my past life and some of the things that I was involved with, I'm not proud of them at all. And I would just as soon uh, forget about some of the things that, that I got tangled up in. Uh, whether or not I have a label or not, I could care less. I don't need a label. Uh, I am who I am. I'm just a guy trying to make it through this crazy world, through this crazy life. Well, I hope that stirred up some thought process in your minds. Maybe you have some answers for me. Maybe you don't. Maybe you can throw in a few two cents worth. Uh, I read all the comments. Some of the comments are kicked out because, uh, well, they're not completely kicked out, but they're thrown into a, they're, they're not uh, posted. They're thrown into a bin for review and uh, a lot of those get deleted just because they are obscene, vulgar, and uncalled for, you know, type of comments. Those are the ones that get flagged. But I, you know, whether, whether negative or positive, I, I leave the comments up there. But I'd really like to hear back from you. Thanks for watching my video today. Give me a thumbs up, please. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe too. I'd like to have you along for this ride. Uh, we'll keep throwing the videos out here as long as God will let me. Thanks for the prayers for my wife. She continues to be in re rehabilitation right now, trying to get herself back up on her feet walking again. And I appreciate all your concerns and prayers just so much. Thank you guys. Till next time, cats. Ride hard and die free. Mm -hmm.